I fuck with shawty cause she bought a business, ayy She independent and she on a mission, ayy Been through some shit but now it's better living, ayy What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. We're going to jump right into it on creating this super easy wrap top. So the first thing you want to do is simply measure how far down you want to start your wrapping. Once you find a good placement for you, you simply want to mark it with something that will wash off or you want to place a pin in that area. So before I get started with making the top, I did want to place something on the front of my shirt. So I decided to put 1996 on my shirt to match the aesthetic I was going for with the whole outfit. So as you can see, this is me and my silhouette program creating the 1996 and I'm just sizing it, getting the color right, getting the front right, and then I'm going to cut it out with vinyl and heat press it onto my shirt. If you want to know which machine I use and which software I use for reference, I will use the Silhouette Cameo 3 as the machine and the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition for the software. Now that I have that placed on the shirt, I'm just making sure that I have my mark in the middle of my shirt from the top and from the sides. I just want to make sure that it's in the middle before I get started. So you just want to mark the middle with something. I just eyeballed it. Honestly, it's that easy. You can eyeball it. So I just eyeballed it and put a little pinch in my shirt. So from that middle section, you just want to cut straight up until the point where you place your pin. Just cut straight up in the middle and you want to cut straight up on the sides as well, on both sides of the shirt. And also, I didn't do this when I first started cutting, but you want to cut the back of the shirt as well when you're cutting the middle. I don't know why I didn't cut the back of the shirt at first, but you want to cut the back of the shirt as well. So eventually you will have four pieces. I'll show you that soon. This is me going back to that middle section because I forgot to cut the middle on the back part. But once you're done, you should have four sections such as this. Now what you want to do is simply cut those two back pieces off. Because we're going to use those two back pieces to attach to the front pieces. So just cut those two off and set them to the side. Next you want to cut off the hem section of the shirt at the bottom. Just cut that off and also cut that off of the two pieces that you put to the side as well. This will help your wrap top lay flat. The next step is to simply lay your pieces on top of the front pieces. So basically we're going to be connecting these two just to make the wrap longer. Because if we leave it like it is, it's not going to wrap all the way around our body. So you just want to connect these two just to make them longer and we're going to use a simple stitch to do so. You're just going to sew straight across that middle part right there at the bottom straight across both sides. Once again I say this in every video remember to always end and begin with the back stitch so that your stitches will not come apart okay and with this wrap top that's very important because you don't want to get to wrapping it around your body and it comes apart. You can use a zigzag stitch. I just use a regular straight stitch because the stretch really didn't matter. It's going to be stretched when I stretch it because it's a t-shirt. So it really doesn't matter. It all depends on the material that your top is. Once 
once you're done sewing this is what your stitching should look like as you can see now we have a shirt with two long wraps in the front and i'm going to show you guys how to wrap it here and you can wrap your shirt any way that you want this is not to say that this is the only way you can wrap your shirt it's not i actually when i wore it i wrapped it and tucked in the back part so you couldn't see it but yeah this is how the top looks it came out super cute i really love it it's something different to wear something no one else has so if you like this video make sure you like down below comment down below subscribe down below everything that you need to do is down below trust me thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'm just going to insert some pictures of how i styled my shirt how i wore it so enjoy these pictures and i'm out of here guys may your curls pop and your girl never stop flavor squad i'm out of here